Hi, welcome to the class called Enterprise Java. My name is Shad Sluter. I'm an instructor at Grand Canyon University, and I'm going to give you an overview of what you'll be learning in this class called Enterprise Java. First of all, there's a confusion about Java and Enterprise Java. Let's talk about them. Java is a technology in both programming language and it's a platform to run websites. So the Java programming language that most people learn is a object-oriented language that's used in many situations. You can use it for your console apps, your Windows application, for Macintosh, Linux, or people work on Android and embedded devices. However, Enterprise Java allows you to take the Java language and run it on a web server to run web applications. There are really four different types of Java. First of all, what you should probably know already is some basic Java on the standard edition. So this is about object-oriented design. This uses uh, loops and if statements, working with variables and types. And so you should already know quite a bit about Java in its language form. What you see in this class is the enterprise Java. And so we'll be running Java on a web server and creating websites. Another edition of Java is uh, embedded Java, or you might call it the micro edition. And so you see this on telecommunications things and medical equipment and routers. This type of Java programming works as in embedded systems. The last type of Java that people frequently work with is uh, JavaFX. Basically, this is for building desktop apps. These desktop apps can run in many different ways, but if you think of the calculator app or other apps that run on Windows or on your Mac, then you're pretty close to what JavaFX is usually used for. So as I mentioned, the second item here is what this class is about, is building websites using Java. Now there are ways that Java Enterprise can be implemented. And so Java Enterprise is a standard that can be implemented by different companies. And so you can see the list of who makes their Java Enterprise implementation and the type of web server or application server that you'll be searching for on Google if you want to find how to download and install. So we're choosing JBoss is our platform. It's by Red Hat. It's free and it includes the entire Java Enterprise specification. You should be aware that a lot of people use Java Enterprise for their web apps, but there's another choice in town. You can see from the graph here that the option called Spring is the most popular. And so this report from the link at the bottom of the page shows that 46% of people that are developing applications in Java are choosing the Spring MVC platform or framework. Java Enterprise or Java EE is the close second Historically, Java EE is older, and it has a lot of momentum, even though it might not be the most popular as far as new development goes. For you to be successful in this class, there's two things that you should probably already have experience with. You should already know Java in its language form, or Java SE. So writing loops, defining data types, conditionals, which are ifs and elses, you should know object-oriented design. You should be familiar with classes, inheritance, interfaces, and generics. These are all terms that would be the Java programming language. So if you've developed uh, console apps or Java FX or even Android phone applications, uh, you'll be right on track for creating uh, websites in Java Enterprise. Since this is a web development class, you should already know some web design technology. So HTML should have these tags in your vocabulary. You should know what a body and a UL and an href, what divs and spans are. And so if those things are unfamiliar to you, then this class is probably not for you. Here's what we're going to build. We're going to create a basic web app. It's going to have input forms and a data grid, and we'll be tying it to a database so we can do our regular create, read, update, and delete functions. And so you can see a screen from an admin part of our, our program we're going to be making a list of things and we can delete them and edit them. So that will be shown in the examples and the videos, but really the goal of the class is for you to develop your own, to create an app of your own design. So Java Enterprise awaits you. Soon you'll be coding and designing and learning terms to create web applications that are highly in demand 
in today's job market.